This week, we're taking in the beautiful azure blue waters in Ibiza, showing you what underwater life is like in the Med. We sail to Majorca, another Balearic island, where we get real with one of the constant challenges we face when traveling while living full time on our sailboat. We're just feeling a little bit uneasy. Welcome to Sailing Gypsy. Two years ago, we knew nothing about sailing, but took off from Canada with an urge for adventure. I'm Steph. This is Travis, and this is our home, Gypsy. We moved quickly and in a short time have made it down south and even crossed an ocean, but we still have a whole lot more of the world to see. Subscribe and join our life on the water. Here in another beautiful anchorage in Ibiza, and this water is so blue and clear. Plus, there are no jellyfish this time. Travis wants to do some cliff jumping, so I think we're gonna go over there along the shore. There should be some good spots for him. And we're gonna take our paddle boards, which are brand new, we haven't used them yet. Got rid of our two old ones, and we replaced them with some really, really sweet boards that we're gonna take out for the first time today. They're really cool because they have Gypsy written on them, so that was really sweet. We got to design them ourselves, which was extra special. We worked with Goose Hill Stand Up Paddle Boards to create our design, which was really fun, and it was a really quick and easy, seamless process. They made it very, very easy to do. We came up with the design, sent it over to the designer, and they would send us their feedback with um, like little tweaks and stuff on how maybe we might want to incorporate our design into the paddleboard with like the different borders, the top, the bottom, and we'll show you exactly what I mean. This thing's awesome. Yeah, that looks sweet. And then on the front, like look at the little detailing. Okay, yeah, so you got the gypsy on the front there as well, on the top. Yeah, you can really customize it. I think there's some on the side here too. Yeah, the sides are cool. Just see on the side. And yeah, like just... we customized all the colors to match with like the turquoise color scheme and yeah, really happy with how they turned out. Before they shipped it off to us, they sent us an email saying, okay, this is the photo of the board in the factory. This is what it's going to look like. Does it all look good to you before they actually go ahead and ship it? So we knew exactly what we were going to get before we opened the box. So that was great. The one that Travis is standing on is our other board that we got from Visil because obviously we had to have two. There's two of us, and they sent us another one. Thank you guys. And comes with a foldable paddle, comes with a whole backpack and everything. So they fold up really nice and neat. It comes with a pump, a patch kit. Yeah, everything you need to get out there and, and get paddling. And the one that he's on right now is called the Upgraded Sailor Paddleboard. Yeah, they both are, but that's just the customized one. Yeah. The only thing it doesn't come with is balance. <laughs> we need to work That's on that. That's all on you. That's all on you. There yeah, there's the front of that guy, which is sweet. Gypsy and we, right there. We really only needed one customized because we just keep the one on the side of the hull. Yeah, you're never going to see the bottom of the second one, so one was perfect for their logoing. And yeah, I'm excited. I want to get out here and check this stuff out. We yeah, my feet are so hot on the decks right now, it's insane. Travis got super eager and rushed his little butt over there. He throws a rock down to help with judging the timing before every jump. Guess the people in the Anchorage didn't mind a little afternoon entertainment. These are flying grenards, which we haven't seen too often here. These intelligent creatures, we see them at pretty much every anchorage. Unlike the Caribbean, there's no coral here. It's mainly sand, 
seagrass, and plenty of rock formations. But that makes for nice swim throughs, which we really enjoy. And now we're sailing about 60 nautical miles to the next Balearic Island of Majorca. Left this morning it was pretty easy because, man, was it rolly. We've had a lot of rolly anchorages. It doesn't even make sense. You'll have the wind coming from you know, a protected area, like coming off the land. And it'd be great for most of the night, and all of a sudden, no wind direction change, but you'll just get this swell that wraps in, because it's from like wind way offshore somewhere, because the wind's always clocking around, so you'll eventually be in an uncomfortable state, is what we found. Well, this is exciting. The wind started to veer in a more favorable direction, and we're now able to sail. We just had to motor for about an maybe an hour and a half. So let's hope this wind keeps up. The last few days it's been really hazy and that haze has brought in like really high humidity plus the Sahara dust. I think it's called Scirocco winds and it's just really uncomfortable. It's sticky and then the boat just gets totally covered in red dirt. of money apparently. Lots and lots of expensive boats here. Very busy. Here, there's so much dust. All of the Sahara dust everywhere. Just dropped the hook. Gave ourselves a little bit of a rinse and Steph got eager to clean the dinghy. Good job. Getting yeah. there real nice and deep light. It's so hot for whatever <laughs> reason, 5 p.m. is when the hottest sun seems to be. I don't know. That's what we've noticed. 5 p.m. it comes in strong. Yeah. Gotta clean the sail sack up, dip it up, put it over so we can get some beautiful solar rays. We wanted to check out the city and we found a decent enough spot to leave the dinghy for the day. Yeah, that is the best place to leave the dinghy to catch the bus. Five minutes of a walk from here. I think the bus is like two euros or something. We'll hop on that and it'll get us into Palma. It's always a little bit harder for us to get into cities because usually there are no anchorages. Right by the city, there are always marinas and you guys know we always prefer to anchor. So, oh yeah, look, packed. Uh, packed. Packed. Lots of villas here. People that rent cars, drive down. There's a couple parking lots and just enjoy the hot day at the beach. We're gonna go enjoy a hot day in the city. <laughs> yes. We don't prefer to do city walking stuff in the heat because it's just, you know, it gets uncomfortable, but it's only gonna get hotter from here. There's the bus. When's the last time you were on an actual bus? Like a public bus, not a coach. It's a tour bus. It was about a 35 minute bus ride into the city. We just got off the bus and we are currently looking up where the Marine Star is. We've got to get an oar finally for our dinghy, the one that we lost. When we crossed the Atlantic, it fell off and we haven't had one since. Just a bus there, so. So he's just Googling where to go. And the thing is, even with Starlink, it's great to have internet on the 
boat, but when we get off the boat, we need some sort of data plan to be able to look things up. So we still kept our phone plan that we had before. Back in the French islands, we had that really cheap deal for a cellular and data plan. We just lowered the data on it because we obviously don't need that much. So using most of it on the boat. Yeah, look at that state there. Man, the ultra is impressive. Although it is an ultra marine like gimmick, so you know, they could have these a bit skewed. <laughs> <laughs> it's rigged. Rigged. Oh yeah, you feel that tension. Instantly. Instant. This one's still going. This one's like a fight. Oh, I want an ultra. Want the ultra? Yeah. And they come in stainless steel, so they're pretty. Expensive. Very. <laughs> Even if it's like to proper scope. These are like the day boats we were talking about? Yeah. Oh yeah, nope, just glide everywhere in the anchorage. We've been having some trouble finding oars for our dinghy as we need that middle piece that snaps onto the side of the dinghy. No dice. We've been looking for a year. Yeah, I know. towards the cathedral here and as we approach the waterfront we notice that the winds have piped up a lot the weather forecast hasn't been true to what it actually is and we're seeing some white caps in this bay which we're guessing is probably an indication of what it's like on our bay we're just feeling a little bit uneasy about leaving gypsy unattended can't really enjoy ourselves walking about town when we have that in the back of our mind so I mean, it could be all fine and dandy when we get back, but it's just that peace of mind that we don't have right now, being far away from the boat, not having a visual on her, so. Well, if you know why, uh, watch our Puerto Rico video. Yeah, that was not good. As we made our way to a bus stop to head back, we couldn't help but admire the beauty of the city. A little bummed to be leaving pretty much right after we got here. This is the face of a captain who sees the calmness of our anchorage as we near. We just got back and the winds are like totally fine. Boat looks good. Dinghy looks like it's a bit wet from hitting up against the wall, but... No white caps. No white caps. Totally died. Okay, but better safe than sorry. Yeah. Well, should we go back? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you want to take a bus back? No. We're going to think about this one. We're like, do we take the bus back? Everything seems to be good here. Like, is that kind of ridiculous? I'm like, well, no, because what do we pay for the, for the bus? Like, it would be an extra eight euros, essentially, there and back. And our time, which we have. And eight euros is nothing for peace of mind. If you really no. think about it. It's, yeah. And then we could go back. We could enjoy ourselves. It's not like another day where we're like, oh, like, what if it were to happen again? You know what I mean? Well, the good thing is this bay is completely crammed. Meaning, I don't know. It probably didn't get too, too crazy in here, maybe. Maybe but, it's more protected right in here than we thought, but. Well, no, you, the water definitely came splashing. But, yeah, it seems to be fine now. It's all sweaty though, I'm like, do we go get cleaned up? To only get sweaty <laughs> again? Come on! I mean like, just freshen up. If you want a dinghy there and back. We're back. We're back in the bus. Figured it should be okay again, but it's so silly. And, bonus, it'll be later in the day, which means that hopefully it won't be as hot. This stick will still be with us though, poorly. Feeling so much better about being back here, exploring land, knowing that Gypsy was okay. Back in this cute little town. Worry, city. Worry free. It's a little bit 
bit cooler out, so it's lovely. And this place is really, really cute. Yeah. Not much else to say. It's cute. <laughs> Lots of places to eat, people playing music, cute little alleyways. Love it. Palma has a population of 480,000 and is the capital of the Balearic Islands. Notable landmarks include the main square, Plaza Mayor, and the Cathedral of Santa Maria of Palma, otherwise known as La Su. Its construction dates back to 1229, but it didn't complete until 1601. It's freaking pretty everywhere. Turns out that we came back here on the perfect night because today there is a huge celebration in Palma. I think it's the biggest in Mallorca. It's called Meet to Falk, which translates to Night of Fire. It's a celebration on the eve of St. John where people dress up like demons, like devils. They throw flames, firecrackers, live music, and they rid the city of all the bad before the Feast of St. John tomorrow. So it should be super fun. They're getting it all ready. There's a lot of people piling in to get seats to see the show and it should be a fun time. Living and traveling full-time via our floating home certainly comes with its own set of challenges but more often than not things turn out okay which is our overall outlook on life in general. At the end of the day we enjoy every experience and sharing it with you. So hit that subscribe button and we'll see you back here next week.